Hello Juba, you're most welcome to CRTV. My name is D-A-Z-O, Dazo the Navi. The Navigator is right here in the building. And yes, right here on this amazing episode, I'm having the amazing guys. Let me call them the amazing guys because these guys have been doing a lot. Let me call them the music changers because since they started music, they've been producing hits after hits after hits after hits. And right now, we also have another hit that they already got on the game. So right here we have uh, the triplets from uh, the Adlife Avenue stars. Though Matani is not there. Rest in power brother. Matani we love you. Right. Uh, before that uh, we love to hear from these amazing guys. What would you tell our viewers? Who do we have right here? Yo 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 what's up? What's up Juba? What's up South Sudan? What's up the world? Of course, Nicky Prince, the finest of the Hard Life Avenue stars. The Nyach. President. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> All right, and uh, another amazing guy right here. Yeah, you can call me Linus, the genius of Hard Life Avenue stars. I'm right here with you. All right. Uh, let's talk about uh, Nicky. Let's talk about how the crew actually came up, how it started, and how Linus actually came on board. Mm. Let, let's get to know the background of Hard Life Avenue stars? Well, uh, the story is long. Mm -hmm. uh, if we go into details, Just cut it short. Uh, we, we will need three days mm -hmm. to narrate. Yeah, but then uh, to cut it short, mm -hmm. of course, the Hard Life Avenue started uh, first as a, as a, as a trio, mm -hmm. uh, consisting of me, uh, the late Mantani, mm -hmm. and also the late uh, Loginda Ginda. Mm -hmm. But then later on, Loginda Ginda left and we were left as a duo. Uh -huh. But then uh, starting 2012, we had a couple of co collaborations with uh, Linus uh -huh. when he was still just doing his production work. Uh -huh. And then uh, slowly, slowly, we kept doing collaborations, collaborations, and uh, there was pressure that came from the fans because okay. they saw us and we really matched well uh -huh. uh, looking at the songs that we did together. So with the pressure that came in, uh, the fans recommended us to add Linus to be a third member, okay. uh, again for us to be a trio. So in 2015, we had to officially bring, in, bring Linus in okay. as a third member of the Hard Life Avenue. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we rebranded from Hard Life Avenue to Hard Life Avenue Stars, Stars yeah. yes, making us the, the, the trios. Yes, sure. yes yeah. Let, let's talk about uh, the changes uh, Linus brought in when, when he get on board. Well, there are a lot of changes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> First of all, he's a, he's a very professional pro music producer. Mm -hmm. Yes, a very professional music producer. That's an added advantage for us because we don't have to fidget around mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to creating uh, our content. Mm -hmm. And the good thing also, he was able to, uh, to groom uh, the late Mantani mm -hmm. into production also. Mm -hmm. So we had already two amazing like uh, extra skills in our in our group sure. so he can create a uh, beats uh, the late Mantani could create beats and we were good to go so he brought in a lot of of amazing things and you know he's the elder in the group sure. so that also comes as an added advantage because mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we have to be like grooming each other, talking to each other, mm -hmm. uh, like advise each other. Mm -hmm. uh, that that has impacted us a lot positively. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let, let's let's talk about your production side. Yeah. Uh, there must be young people who are looking up to you right now. Uh, I mean, young producers. Yeah. What advice could you tell them? Yeah, uh, all what I can tell producers. Uh, it's not all about money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you look at money, then you'll be driven by everyone with different dreams and visions. Someone come and organize this stuff and just take you. Mm -hmm. But you need to be focused to know exactly what you're doing and you're doing for what reason mm -hmm. and how far do you want to go with, with the production? Is it just for fun? You mm -hmm. want to record people because Linus is recording someone? Mm -hmm. Or you want to record, be a producer because you want just to be famous. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot that you yourself as a producer, you need mm -hmm. first to understand and another thing like uh, to, to, to have that character in you, like you don't just move studios to studios, mm -hmm. you know, like, like 
today one week you're here people are just getting used to you hey, they studio come, prostitute they, <laughs> <laughs> they find you yeah, yeah. you're seated <laughs> to another studio that hey where are you man uh, by the way I left here mm. so what is the exact reason why you left here yeah, yeah. maybe you left a good like a good studio and you go yeah, even yeah. a fake studio mm -hmm. so it's good just you know to to brand yourself in one place and establish your yourself yeah, yeah. like yeah, people sure. can come and you mm -hmm. you give them your best you understand mm -hmm. so that is the advice I, sh I should tell all the people uh, who want to be producers are those who are producers already, right now not yeah. to look about the money only mm -hmm. but also to focus on their dreams and exactly what they want to to impact in the music industry mm -hmm. let's say in the game right now you're one of the biggest producers and uh, I've actually I've noticed that you guys are also going to other producers yeah. to do music yeah. like yeah. Uh, Negesu Mali Mali yeah Negesu uh, Mali Slaughter was produced by Slaughter <coughs> Mali Panga yeah. yeah and other song that you guys have done yeah why that and you're good no it's not all about being good mm -hmm. music you know you you cannot just be eating one food every day you okay know? if you look at the music industry actually I've done a lot of things like mm -hmm. I I cannot just be selfish I have to give space for people to shine. Mm -hmm. Like for example, if uh, a producer, new producer comes in and they send a beat, mm -hmm. we can really drop something good because like uh, that's how also I was promoted, you know. Mm -hmm. I didn't just make beats and I... You and just I came up. Yeah, but through like people, that, yeah. through other artists. So when it comes to that side, care, I'm just, uh, when I go to another studio, I'm just artist, I'm not a producer. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I accept to be corrected mm -hmm. also just as artists not like a producer mm -hmm. so to give people chance to, to to believe in themselves for the work they're doing all right yeah all right ladies and gentlemen let's go for a short break we'll be right back stick around wow, go on. all right i've heard that uh nigga prince love net i heard that you love net cool so much uh, you have <laughs> oh you know i <laughs> uh, want to know now uh, <laughs> well everyone loves nyasha yeah. man Okay. Including those who are pretending not to love it. Uh -huh. Yeah, everyone loves Nyash. <laughs> I've also heard that you are the president. <laughs> that very well. Uh, the the fact is, uh -huh. uh, I just came up with a classification of mm. uh, sizes of Nyash. Mm. Uh, I didn't name myself as the president, but then of okay. course the those who love Nyash mm. decided to name me as the president. Mm. Of Nyash. But basically, you know, the concept behind it is. Uh, there are people who take it in a different way. Mm -hmm. they, some people call it body shaming, but that's not mm -hmm. the point. Mm -hmm. You know, if you look at the uh, uh, beauty pageants, mm -hmm. you see the, the, the ladies they use, mm -hmm. most of them, actually all of them are small bodied yeah. or thin. Mm -hmm. You will never see a beauty pageant where they use uh, girls who have uh, big bodies. Big body. Yes, mm -hmm. big bodies, big behinds. Mm -hmm. They don't use them. Why? Mm -hmm. Are those not People girls? People want to see them. Yes. Yeah. Actually, uh, the point of bringing up the Nyash campaign is so that we have to appreciate mm -hmm. ladies also who are who have big bodies and big behinds. All right. Uh, That's how, God's how, work. How about our ladies who actually use uh, artificial Nyash? What will you tell The us? point of the campaign all along has been no to fake mm -hmm. Nyash. The real thing. So if you are swallowing taps, mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. It's, it's not allowed. We're actually encouraging just organic growth. It's God's, it's God's blessing, man. Bro, I've, I've been actually <laughs> yearning to see you. I've been <laughs> struggling, man. You, you know, I've been struggling to get you, bro. I, I actually did, you know, a huge one, you see? And I know you can get me through there. So, uh, what can you tell Well, uh, I have a lot of members online, so okay. uh, they, they, they can help you. Sure. Yeah. All right. No the, the movement is I, big, man. I, 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 I will get to talk to him <laughs> later privately about this thing. All right. Uh, talking about uh, you guys, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I always feel happy and, you know, grateful about the Hat Life Avenue stars because I've never had any chaos mm -hmm. between you guys or among you guys. Yeah. And uh, this brings me to this question of uh, how do you guys actually solve your issues? Because I know a crew of three or two people must be chaos or maybe misunderstanding. Definitely. So how do you guys, uh, you know, solve your issues well, in case you know, something happens? The fact is, uh, we were not born of the same mother or same father. Sure. We were born from different parents and raised using different morals. Mm -hmm. 
that clearly means we have different characters. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's uh, it, it's a very tough thing mm -hmm. uh, to come up together when you were raised from different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, we, we, did, we, we formed this group based mm -hmm. on uh, rules mm -hmm. and morals mm -hmm. that were put on place. One of these, or one of it is, of course, I made it clear that uh, if they break, the, the group breaks up because mm -hmm. of one person, mm -hmm. that person will carry that whole blame. Okay. That means we will have to swallow our, our, our individual yeah, prides. Yeah, yeah. You see, this thing of being proud, everyone has to swallow his pride and make sure that we are working for the same goal, you know, yeah. same mission as a group. Yeah. So if we have issues, we resolve it. We sit down and we talk as grown-ups. Yeah, yeah. As I said earlier, um, I, you know, Linus is the eldest in the group. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I follow him. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm sorry, age is not everything. Yeah, yeah, sure. It still goes back to how you were raised. Mm -hmm. So the good thing is we are all raised people who knows how to tackle issues. Right. You sit down and you resolve issues. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, we tolerate each other's nonsense. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. There's also, there's also uh, I even sent you, uh, you guys, uh, uh, when I heard about uh, Negi Sumali. Yeah. I almost cried. Why did they I'm watch you? <laughs> you are being squeezed or what? <laughs> I'm not mad at you. are being squeezed or what? Okay. And you see the situation that is yeah. going around now. Yeah, it's tough. Th things are not easy. Yeah. So, uh, Linus, tell us about the song. What is behind, what is the message behind this song? Yeah, um, like if you look at the African culture, mm -hmm. let me say in South Sudan. Are you, are you mad at? Yeah, I'm married. You're married. Fully yeah, married. Now we talk so, about our experience. Okay. Um, if you look at like the generation right now, mm -hmm. a lot of people not because they don't want to marry, mm -hmm. but because of the the dowry. They tell you, like last time I saw someone post about uh, the dollar rate and mm -hmm. the the changes of what the the waraga thing waraga, and whatever. Yes. So you find that. Uh, People they don't think about it because they just they, they give up mm. early and say no for me I will not manage. Mm. So you you end up finding you like all your your daughters getting kids at home yeah. mm. because they, they they don't have that time like uh, no one to take them because they fear the the the, the dowry mm. maybe it's going to be 100 cows. Mm. Then this is a guy who cannot buy for himself a let me say a, a good trouser for for 40,000 and a shirt for 30,000, mm -hmm. like four of them for himself. Mm -hmm. uh, he can still not afford to, to rent for himself a good looking mm -hmm. house, yeah. whereby he's going to put his family. So he's still trying to hustle how to, to live his personal life, like uh, him alone, mm -hmm. to, to hustle for Chikomando. You see? Yeah, like, <laughs> you know, he, he cannot even afford to eat that good food. Mm -hmm. But then now if he comes to, he loves someone, how is going to make this happen you know and now ladies have taken it so that far they want weddings and mm. whatever you go to freedom hall and they tell you Shame how this. much <laughs> then you, know, you go to me then then uh, there is a lot of tents you're supposed to put on the chairs, chairs and whatever the, the screen if like right now if your wedding doesn't have the screen whatever the projectors ah mm. so your wedding is not journey as well so so a lot of youths now, mm. you will find a girl is still in primary, she's in primary, but she has a kid. Mm. Just because, you know, they want to produce because they don't want to be blamed that, you know, uh, now you, this one. Old. Yeah. <laughs> At least they are going to school, but they have a kid. So because they, there's no guarantee either they're going to get married, someone to, to take that responsibility, to, to devote, to be that full man that mm. I'm going to take you and marry you and pay all this. Mm. So. All the idea is just to help the community mm -hmm. that we are not selling our daughters. Yeah. But if, yeah. if you get someone who can stay mm -hmm. with your daughter, you understand yourself, mold your daughter look good, mm -hmm. then they can work together actually. Mm -hmm and bring what they are bringing to appreciate the parents. Yes, that. Yeah, I'm not killing the traditional, yeah. but uh, according to my own view, you know, th so we, we came up with this song, at least like people should understand that we are not actually selling mm -hmm. our daughters. Mm -hmm. 
You understand? But we are creating families. Yeah. The so fact is, a lot of our of our African cultures was deviated from the the old uh, cultures yeah. uh, because of I think more civilization, modernization. Mm -hmm. uh, people now look into more of money. For example, mm -hmm. marriage in Juba is different from marriage in the mm -hmm. village. In, the village yeah. in Juba, everything is equated into money, and it is equated based on the on the dollar rate. Sure. And to make it worse. Now parents even look at the first do a research to find out Who the status of this married. person. Yes. yes. So and if those are personal uses with you, they don't like you, your and rate is going to be different. Really you see? Mm -hmm. So it's totally it's like they, they think that maybe they are they are hurting their husband, mm -hmm. the guy. But unfortunately they are hurting their own daughter. Yes. Because this girl loves this guy, they love each other. But now together. you are preventing them mm -hmm. from having a family. Mm -hmm. You see? So the point is we are not saying dollars should not be paid. Mm -hmm. But this thing of paying, for example, you're paying 100,000, uh, I mean 100, 100 cows, Bro, it's, it's a dowry. Do, and do then, I even have two cows? <laughs> you see? I don't even have two cows. <laughs> don't, let's not talk of... You see? So, uh, so uh, assuming even, let's say 50 cows. Mm -hmm. And then, these cows, once they receive it, you know, they distribute among themselves. Mm -hmm. The uncles, the aunties, just given all. Then, when the two have issues, mm -hmm. where it involves now divorce, mm -hmm. They will beat her to come back. They will tell her, you need to resolve your issues. Because they, because they can't this. pay it back. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Why don't you take something reasonable and take it from someone who you know can mm. take good care of your daughter mm -hmm. and you keep it as a strong family so that if there are issues, you can easily resolve. Sure. Even if it involves now divorce, mm. because you cannot force what is not good. Yeah. If it involves divorce, it, it, it happens amicably where two families is split peacefully mm -hmm. not uh, not now now forcing this girl into a situation because you guys have eaten all the cows mm -hmm. you see so we need to be considerate about that and charging a lot of of, of cows or dollars mm -hmm. it's like, literally like you are selling off your daughter sure. there are people who say you know i've been watching on social media that saying ah we have invested on our daughter the do the girl being married doesn't mean she's being taken away she still remains your daughter yeah you see if she has if she's red as in she has graduated, mm -hmm. she still works, she will still be supporting both families. Definitely. You get? Mm -hmm. She will be supporting her, her own family that she's establishing, as well as supporting her parents. Yeah. That does not stop. But if you, for example, you, you take 100 cows, mm -hmm. man, when she receives her salary, it's mine. <laughs> because I've paid school fees too. <laughs> you see? All right. Uh, yeah. To our viewers right now, you can see how smart I am. I'm looking very, very smart, and definitely you can see that. If you want to look smart like this, just get to visit. That is a Pulse Closet, and yes, get some drip drip. And well, you'll find them that is uh, in Jebel Main Market, just 15 m uh, meters away from uh, Uru Cottage, and get to Pulse Closet. Get some few clothes for you. Of course, moving around, seeing your girlfriend, and other things you may want to do. All right, all right. You guys got a series of songs, great hit song. Let's talk of Yao Day. Uh, she's pregnant. Talk of, uh, uh, you know, there's uh, uh, many more songs, man. Many more yeah, hit too songs. Many. Yeah, yes. too many. There's a lot. Yes. And I have the Arab. <laughs> too I many. Do really listen to that song so much. Okay. All right. Let, let's let's talk of uh, what actually do you guys want to achieve in your musical career? Well, uh, that's a simple question. Mm -hmm. When you listen to our songs, mm -hmm. uh, you will basically know the angle we have taken. Yeah. Uh, you listen to our songs, we're focusing on uh, relationship, social issues, mm -hmm. and um, you know, we don't talk about politics. Mm -hmm. So, meaning we are so much focused on the society. Mm -hmm. uh, if you listen to the songs, we are talking about issues that happens in societies, in relationships, in marriages. Mm -hmm. Meaning, we are pushing for change mm -hmm. in our society, mm -hmm. especially changes from things that are bad. Add Nagi Somali into it. Mm -hmm. say we're talking about marriage. These are already these are things in the society. Sure. So basically, our angle is we are pushing for change mm -hmm. in our society. Mm -hmm. That's actually what uh, what we f we feel is a lot of payment for us. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Oh. As the avenue, uh, what avenues or opportunities have you guys created? for the young one, the youth, I'm quite sure they're looking up to you now and when you guys are gone later yeah. make sure, don't be selfish 
there must be something you've created for those who may come behind you. Yeah. yeah. So what opportunities have you guys created for these young people? S first thing I can say, we, okay, we have laid a very strong foundation, mm -hmm. as in not for, for only the, the coming generation, mm -hmm. but right now, like even right now, we have laid a very strong foundation for the whole entire music industry. Mm -hmm. And uh, also for the young generation, we have created for them conducive place to do the, you know, if you, if you listen to our songs, mm. it, there's nothing like bend over mm. or <laughs> what, what, <laughs> like, uh, 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 <laughs> Jura Jedede. So, <laughs> so like, uh, we, have, we have actually molded, we have molded them yeah. to become the, the, the good leaders, yeah. I, I, like, when ahead of us. You know, look at uh, the music industry, you know, when you, that's why I'd say before, when you're doing something, when you're starting something, you need to have a vision. Mm -hmm. Where you're going, mm -hmm. whose life are you changing? Sure, sure. So like uh, our music, actually, we have, we have created a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot for, for the coming generation, mm -hmm. like to, to take music ahead of us mm -hmm. and uh, to have the, the right foundation of what, because if you, if you see like we have a lot of contacts, people want you to advise them, people want you to listen to their songs, people who want you maybe to, to mold them, okay, we have a couple of collabs, mm -hmm. that, that one means, which means answering yourself, like we are not selfish. Yeah, yeah. So we are not singing, For concentrating yourself. only Hard Life Avenue, yes. and uh, we have not done a very serious collab with a female artist. This is it. Yes, so, and we are going to do this. Mm -hmm. We need to surprise so the who, industry. Who could that be? Who don't, could that? Don't worry. Uh, you know when? Lucky lady. You know but when? When they say us. when they say surprise. <laughs> if I tell you that I'm going to surprise you, which means you are not surprising me anymore. Yeah, yeah. So actually, you have already given me. <laughs> <laughs> so we are trying to do a lot, yeah. and which which we cannot tell everything. You know, like it's telling your secret mm -hmm. of. Uh, what you use to make push your test better than mm. the other person. Yeah. yeah, so you just bring on the table and people test it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Nikki, what would you say? You guys are one of the pioneers mm. of the modern music yeah. in South Sudan. Mm. So, what opportunities have you created? What could you add to what line has actually uh, put? Yeah, well, one thing I can add is, uh, you know, apart from uh, the music mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. you know, uh, as a group, we have contributed a lot. Like Linus himself has mm -hmm. contributed. And there are a lot of producers that. whom mm -hmm. he has groomed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's just that he's not a proud person yeah. who who announces what he has done. Okay. He has groomed uh, likes of I the late Mantani, mm -hmm. uh, producer Bobby, mm -hmm. Ken K Tony. Mm -hmm. There's some. There are a lot of other others that I may not be able to mention them mm -hmm. here. These are all groomed for the future. These are young talents. You see, mm -hmm. that means he has created an exit strategy sure. that once he, he intends to leave production, mm -hmm. there's already a platform. He has created people sure. with his uh, knowledge. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, man, there, 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 there's an impact we created mm -hmm. that people don't see it easily, mm -hmm. but it's a very tangible impact. For example, with the songs we created, mm -hmm. there are a lot of marriages we have fixed. Okay. There are a lot. I remember two, three years ago when we were on radio and people not, could not, call. Not, not only marriages, also relationships. Yes, even relationships. Yeah. I, what I can remember well is uh, with the song Yaude Alone, mm. uh, there are people who, who we met yes. and they, they, they testify to us. Mm -hmm. How others tell us how they are able to come back mm -hmm. because of the song. Others are telling us how the song is able to fix. Mm -hmm. Uh, their issues, they're able to relate with the song mm -hmm. and fix their issues. Mm -hmm. These already, we have, we have already created a change. Sure, sure. The other thing is, you know, uh, with us being in the music industry, mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we, have, we have been partnering with a lot of people, be it promoters, mm -hmm. uh, be it uh, uh, video directors, mm -hmm. we, have, we have an impact in their lives. For the promoters, they are able to uh, to be p stakeholders in the music industry mm. and expand the music industry. Video directors, they're able to explore their skills and, and actually show out mm -hmm. to, the, uh, to the world mm -hmm. uh, how our music is. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, we go for source. Okay. 
uh, we hire venues. Mm. We're already having an impact in the GDP of the economy. Definitely. <laughs> Is Definitely. it? For 10 years. Yes, we yeah. had a, a, a 10 years ten anniversary years concert. concert. You know, we employed a lot of people yeah. to work uh, uh, during the concert. Mm. That's, that's already, without, without noticing, you're already impacting people's life. Sure. But then I get your point from the other angle. For example, who are we grooming for a takeover? Yeah, yeah. You get it? Yeah. As, as, as hard life having <coughs> stuff. Mm. Uh, sometimes we will not know what, how, actually we don't know what, what will happen that, tomorrow. Yes. It's only God who knows. Yeah. God plans his things. We have our own plans, but God, is, uh, God has his own plans. Mm -hmm. So God knows who, who is going to be the next hard life sure, sure. Maybe it's our kids. Mm -hmm. We, d we don't know yet, you see? Maybe uh, our friends. <laughs> maybe yeah. our friends. Yeah. You see, you can never tell, man. Yeah, like, you sure. can never tell. Sure. But honestly, we leave everything into God's hand. But we are doing our best mm. to help make sure that we have an impact. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay, lastly, uh, we're going to have an acapella. Let's start mm. out in a style. And uh, the Hard Life Avenue Stars will actually give us an acapella of Nick Negi Sumali. Okay. My Arabic is not very good. That's why I'm not <laughs> calling that correctly. Okay. I don't know. So let's have an acapella of uh, Negi Sumali. And we say bye-bye. We'll link up again uh, next week. Thank you so much for watching CRTV. My name is D-A-W-Z-O. Dazo Denavi is my name. Well, for Negi Sumali, we just wanted to take this short message, short and precise message to mm. the people we are mentioning mm. in the song. Definitely. Let's go. Ori le yankol nagi sumali shia Ori le anti nagi sumali de he 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 Ori le mama nagi sumali shia Baba kaman nagi sumali de That is it Take that message to your parents Bye -bye take to your uncle take to your auntie let them reduce the mali Yep. <laughs>